Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about domains and custom domains. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification examination course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let us start with understanding Azure AD tenant domain names. First, we're going to look into what is initial domain name? By default, when you create an Azure subscription, an Azure AD domain is created for you. This instance of domain has initial domain name in the form of domain name.onmicrosoft.com. This initial domain name, while fully functional, is intended primarily to be used as a bootstrapping mechanism until a custom domain name is verified. So what is a custom domain name? Although the initial domain name of a directory can't be changed or deleted, you can add any routable custom domain name you control. This simplifies the user sign-on experience by allowing user to log on with credentials they are familiar with. For example, you could start your Microsoft domain name by contusogold.onmicrosoft.com and could be assigned to a custom simpler domain name called contusogold.com. So let me quickly show you where you can find this custom domain name settings. I'm on my Azure portal. I'm going to go to Azure Active Directory, right under Manage. Scroll down till you find custom domain names. As you can see that by default, my tenant name was this number dot on Microsoft.com and it is available and verified. Then I have added a custom domain name to this tenant as well. So only a global administrator can perform domain management tasks in the Azure AD by default. This is the user who you created the subscription. And domain name in the Azure AD are globally unique. So if one Azure AD directory has verified a domain name, then no other Azure AD directory can verify or use the same domain name. So before a custom domain name can be used by Azure AD, the custom domain name must be added to your directory and verified. So how can you add a custom domain name? You can click on add a custom domain name and you can provide a name over here. I'm going to call it as az303.com and click on add a domain. So right now this domain is added. But if I own this domain, I would be able to verify using this text and MX record. Once I do that, then you would be able to see that my domain would be verified. Right now, because of not doing verification, it is showing us unverified. So what is this verifying custom domain names all about? When an administrator add a custom domain name to an Azure AD, it is initially in an unverified state. And Azure AD will not allow any directory resources to use an unverified domain name. This ensures that only one directory can use a custom domain name and the organization using the domain name owns the domain name. So after adding the custom domain name, you must demonstrate ownership of the domain name. This is called verification and it is done by adding DNS record, which is the type of text and MX. This is provided by Azure into your company's DNS zone. And once this record is added, Azure will query the DNS domain for the presence of the record. And this could take several minutes to several hours. If Azure verifies the presence of the DNS record, it will then add the domain name to the subscription. That concludes this episode. In the next episode, we are going to learn about Azure AD conditional access. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.